Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy T. Will. Look, y'all been asking me as far as with melodies and how I construct melodies, how I do the mixing part, how do I add all these different variations and effects. And bro, y'all just been asking me for a lot of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a tutorial that covers the shortcuts. It covers the mixing part, the melodies, what kind of plugins I use. I'm really just about to give y'all everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything I got. So. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't hit the like button by now, I mean, if you don't hit it now, then at least hit the like button when you leave the video. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, we about to get straight into it. Now, all I did the other day, so the other day I went on and made a melody, you know what I'm saying? And, and I was like, you know what? Let me take the stems and then I'll just mix it and you know, all this other stuff. These sounds are from Spitfire. And guess what, man? Spitfire is absolutely free. Like all the sounds that I use is free. You got the piano sounds, you got the keyboard, the synthesizers, guitars. Bro, these sounds is just amazing, especially orchestra sounds that they have in this VST, bro, it's, it's beyond amazing. So uh, I'm gonna let y'all listen to this real quick. See, when I do melodies, I like to include the key and I also like to include the BPM. So if you can look right here towards the end, nine times out of 10, when you have stems or when you have a melody, you typically wanna go towards like the dark end of the grid. And that's where you know it, it really cuts off. It all depends on how the person arranged it, but typically you would actually cut it, you know, at the, the end of the black bar. So this is what I would do is it's the right shift, right click. So it brings up this red line. Now what the red line does is when you bring up the red line, it actually cuts off the short end and it deletes it at the same time. But when you left click, it brings up the blue line. So the blue line, all it does is just cut it. Preferably I'm trying to take this out. And because this is the long end pause on the left side, all I would do is I would hold the right shift, right click up, and then boom, it takes it away just like that. That's a nice little shortcut for those, you know, if you just want to cut out the melody, if you want to cut out parts of a pattern, an audio track or whatever, you know, it's there for you. Now, a lot of times what I like to do, because right now I'm in the mixing phase, you know, I can take up as much time as I can. This is not no quick jiffy, get to it, spiffy liffy, you know, TV look like. Go. Oh. We, we don't even have to do all of this crazy stuff so we just get straight into it so what i like to do first off is i actually like to organize and have all my stuff tracked out you know what's being played the most and put that at the top and then what's being played the least i'll put that at the bottom so for instance these strings i would take this and actually put that at the bottom and everything else i would just move up so then that way i know exactly what i have going on so the first thing we're going to start off with is the piano so the piano and we're going to mix all of these in different tracks a lot of people actually put each track on the same you know same individual whatever that's cool but um it's best to just put them all separately so what i would like to do this is another shortcut that i actually do if you're in the pattern and you're trying to move stuff up just the left alt and then just hit the arrow you know you have full control of putting what goes where and stuff like that what i'm gonna do is highlight all of this i'm gonna go to the mixer and the control shift l is how you link all these tracks that you have highlighted within the pattern and you just link it up to here and then boom it just lays it out for you so you don't have to keep going through each individual one clicking it in you know all you have to do is highlight these control shift l but you have to make sure you click on one and then control shift a and then you're good to go so let's say for instance you're having trouble with music theory with the drum bounds if you're having trouble with anything that i showed you in this video with the mixing i have a patreon set up just teaching 
everybody what they want to know and then i'm also going live on youtube you know what i'm saying so make sure y'all check all of this type of content that i'm uploading on youtube and if you haven't also downloaded the three free packs that's down below you have the head ass volume one pack which is you know the first head ass pack that we dropped the second one that we dropped is actually back to the studio and the next pack that we also have is the volume two the head ass sample pack volume two all three of those kits are <laughs> god bless them god bless but like i said all the links are down below in the description man they are in the description so i appreciate you also again make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button you know what i'm saying now just listening to this piano i already can tell i have reverb on it um which is cool you know what i'm saying but uh you know let's, let's, let's switch it up a little bit you know what i'm saying so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this I'm gonna make another one. I also do this when I do, um, when I make guitar loops, duplicate it and make it unique. And I would pan one to the left and I'll pan one to the right. Space everything out as best as I can. You never wanna have every little instrument pan towards the middle. You never do, trust me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and actually pan it maybe like 50 to the left. And then I'm gonna take this other one and pan it 50 to the right, just to see how it sounds doesn't have to be exact so because it already has reverb on it you know it has a nice little sound you know already going on in the piano i really don't have to do too much that's kind of the whole process of with the piano but if anything if it was just dry regular piano i actually just go to reverb another thing that you want to do with reverb is anytime you have something that has a strong attack and you want to kind of take away the attack a little bit the best thing you can honestly do is put reverb on it and turn the wetness down to maybe like 20 so you'll turn the wetness down to like 20 or so and then you would turn the dryness down to maybe like uh 90 between 90 and 80 and it it doesn't take the attack fully away because that's not what you want you still want the attack to be there but you want it to be more just like you know it kind of flows into it so that's what i do if i have harsh instruments and i just put reverb and i just turn the dryness down Now this is what it sounds like um, without it. And this is with it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna go to is actually right here with these uh, strings. And it's actually pizzicato, which is like strong attack. You know, just strong attack and then just let off of it. That's what the whole pizzicato thing means. Now with this, it really doesn't have a lot of reverb. So to kind of, if you're familiar with how orchestras are and, and how they do things, a lot of performances are happening inside of uh, the cathedral or they're happening in, in like a big auditorium. So what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? You want to give the listener that same exact feel. So what you're going to do is um, you're going to take the Fruity Reverb 2, all the effects that I'm using is directly from FL. I'm not using no, I'm not using no extra plugins or nothing like that. Like this is just straight default sounds. So y'all have no excuse of why like, oh, I don't have sound toys. I don't have primal tab. I don't have, uh, you don't have my hairline. I don't know. I don't, I don't want no excuses. You know what I'm saying? You can, you can do it just with what you have. So what you want to do is, um, a lot of times what I go and use is the preset and i like to use the cathedral and now with the cathedral is it has a lot of reverb and a lot of wetness what you want to do is you want to listen to it and as you're listening to it you'll turn the wetness down in the reverb Another thing that I also like to do is uh, within the, the little pizzicato strings, I would actually go to a Fruity Delay 2. Now what the Fruity Delay 2 does is it delays. 
a lot of times what I want to do is in this type of sense with pizzicato, if you are actually in a cathedral, the sounds are bouncing off from everywhere, left and right, boom, 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 whatever. So I would actually use the ping pong effect, which, you know, the ping pong, the delay actually goes from the right ear to the left ear. I'll pan it, you know, maybe a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. It really don't matter too much, but, you know, just add a little pan to it. I would keep the volume right where it's at for right now because the main thing that I like to do is actually go to the cut. Then when you're cutting the delay, that means it's not gonna go after, like after four delays, it's gonna cut off. Or after six delays, it's gonna cut off. So a lot of times, I would actually just leave this in the middle. Now, if I wanted to cut a little bit earlier, then of course, you know, I just keep cutting. Now, in this sense of, I kinda want the, My bad. That's kind of the whole feel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on a two-step for right now. See, the thing I like to do is I would turn the volumes up. Why would I turn the volumes up? Sometimes you can even just turn it up to the max. But then what you wanna do is you actually wanna go to this little knob that's right here on the mixer. And what you would do is actually you would turn it down. And all this is is really just a bus. And when you have a bus, you just direct everything towards the bus. And then what you do with the bus, you just turn it down. So all I would honestly do is just turn the volume all the way up. You know what I'm saying? Let the cut be like six. Now what I want the delay to do be in the background. I don't want it to necessarily be in the front. That's why I just turn the delay down, but you can still hear it. And then with the ping pong, it actually makes it more clear that that's what you're doing with the delay instead of just leaving it in normal. So this is what we have just so far. Uh, the next instrument that we have is the flute. Look, you can never go wrong with some reverb, bro. I'm telling you this right now. You can never go wrong with the reverb. And like I said, this isn't just specifically the mixing phase. You know what I'm saying? If you want to just add extra stuff. And I could do the same thing with the delay and all of that, but with the delay this time, I would actually just turn it down so it's not going to be so extra just like it was. So the next thing we're gonna do is mess with this guitar. Um, this is what it sounds like. All right, so the guitar and the flute are the only two things that are not from Spitfire. So the first thing I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying, put some reverb on it, you know what I'm saying? Look, I, like I said, y'all cannot go wrong with reverb, bruh. You cannot go wrong with some reverb. So make sure that you're turning the fruity chorus down as you're listening. So 
and then last but not least we have the strings which is going to make it Strings are just amazing, man. That's a reverb. And then what I am hearing is some noise in the background and it's kind of within the low end. So what I do is just bring up the EQ, bring it down, bring the second one. And this high pitch noise right here is so loud. What I'm actually do is use an automation clip and the way I brought the automation clip up is I actually go to this right here, go to automate and then click volume and this is what pops up. But then that way you don't have to go to the mixer and then make a whole automation clip in the mixer because you may end up putting another instrument or switching it out for something and you don't want that to affect what you have going on just for the string. So it's best to just do it this way. I want to make the automation as smooth as I possibly can so then I don't have to worry about any type of feedback or anything coming back at me. Now that we have it mixed down, all we have to do really is just level it. So here we go. The way that I do the leveling process is I want to figure out which instrument do I want to be in the front. Do I want the pizzicato strings to be in the front, the flute, the piano. And in this case, I actually want the piano more so in the front. But it's like at the same time, I don't want that to just be the only instrument because you're going to hear the same thing over and over. So that may get annoying. When you mess with instruments like that, what you want to do is you want to keep in mind of, hey, if I just left this in front, Will this sound get irritating to the listener's ear? But this is the type of stuff you go through when you're having to mix down stuff and, and when you're having to go into great detail about what you want happening. So, and this is just the melody. This ain't even meaning on the drum. And last but not least, what you want to do is you want to go to your master track. And in your master track, what I typically like to do so I don't have to worry about any melodies going over zero threshold, what I like to do is just go ahead and put a soft clip on here. Now, typically, uh, everybody already knows that me and TB, we be putting a soft clip on here just for the drums, but you can also do it for the melody. But if that jank sounds good, it don't matter what effects, how many effects you put up there, as long as it sounds good, it's cool. Hey man, if y'all enjoyed this, man, you know what I'm saying? Just hit a, you know, give me a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If y'all want more videos like this, you know what I'm saying? Just comment down below. All the links are in the description. So I appreciate you. Also again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Boy T-Will and I'm out deuces.